Listen, listen. I said, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Leah the Great, the name and the handle. Sit back and relax. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Period. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, I appreciate all the support I've been getting for starting my YouTube channel. I know, you know, during this quarantine, a lot of people are exploring their options with, you know, different projects. And YouTube just happened to be one of mine. And it's funny because this video that you're about to see is was supposed to be my very first YouTube video um but I never got around to uploading it because one I had just had a baby um so she'll be three months in this video the one I'm carrying and Alea was one one in this video and um I wasn't like ca camera savvy or computer savvy so that kind of held me back and I'm like a big procrastinator so I really didn't, you know, have the time or when I did have the time, I just kind of blew it off. So I'm finally here and I'm finally here to show you what I produced my very first time around. Um, so, yeah. So off camera, I did spray her hair down with water and I removed the previous rubber band she had in her hair. And um, I'm using Cantu oil I'm not sure the exact name this was so long ago um I used about a dime size and I'm just distributing it throughout her hair and I'm also using a can to curling cream for kids and I used about a dime size and I'm doing the same thing just trying to evenly distribute um it throughout her hair um and making sure I'm starting from roots to ends to make sure it is fully saturated and I do not want to use like a whole bunch of products because that will cause a lot of buildup especially when you have rubber bands involved and we don't want that because that can cause um hair breakage and hair loss and she a baby she too long afraid <laughs> all right so the partings were very simple um I just parted straight across and then I just made square partings throughout the part or this section and looking back at this video I realized that I could have made her sections a lot more bigger but I love how the twist came out they came out super cute and they kind of almost look like baby locks and I love that it's just like so cute um, and now I'm just showing you the size of the section and if you if you like this size by all means go for it but looking back to save me time I, I should have made them bigger so now I'm just taking the rubber band right here um, I like to put the oil on the rubber bands and saturate them in oil so that it can give it more slack and it can also like when you're removing the rubber bands it helps with not pulling out her hair And for the twist, I used mousse because it gave it a more fluffier look. I know in my previous video, I used like jam and another product um, and it gave it a more cleaner look, but I feel like the mousse gives it a more natural look and it kind of resembles baby locks again. And I like it. I love it. I love how it came out. And I'm literally just doing a two strand twist. There was nothing like super crazy about how I twist it. It was just take two strands and twist it up. And I twist it to the very end. twist and now I'm about to apply the barrettes to her hair my bad I'm putting the mousse on <laughs> I'm putting mousse on her hair to like seal it to seal the style <laughs>
looking back at this, I could have used the rubbery method again, like to add that extra security. And I did not do that because I was not aware. Mothers, fathers, you know, doing your child's hair, especially for your first kid, you know, you really don't know what you're doing. Um, so this was all a learning process for me and it still is. And I'm just grateful for the fact that I have the opportunity to, um, you know, have a daughter to practice on because, you know, I love doing hair. So I have my in-person mannequin. <laughs> As you can see I have a baby um, in the carrier so that's my second mannequin now that one that mannequin she doesn't really like to get her hair done so you probably won't see her on camera a lot because I have to do her hair when she sleep <laughs> um, okay so for this top section all I did was um, separated it into two sections so I have a front one and one in the back um, and then I made six squares going across from the first in the first section and in the second and I took some mousse and I'm twisting it up and now I'm going to attach that first twist to not the first square but the second square and then when I twist the second section I'm going to attach that twist into the first section so it can give a crisscross effect as you see here. Now to make that bantu knot, all I did was finger twist the hair and I'm twisting it in, in a circular motion. And then I'm gonna tuck the hair. I'm not adding any bobby pins or rubber bands to it because she already has a lot of tension with the rubber bands. Um, and I'm gonna do that again. Now, as you can see, there is a rubber band already on this second section, the second row. Um, and I, don't do that. Please don't do that. Like I said, this is, was a learning process for me. And, um, all you have to do literally is when you're, t when you take that twist from the first row and you're attaching it to that second section in the back, you're already going to put a rubber band on there to secure that. So you don't need an initial rubber band to start with. So that was my bad please don't do this because it's just going to add unnecessary tension and this is supposed to be a protective style and, and it will take it will take away the protection of the protection style if she has tension in her hair so please don't do this thank you <laughs> and as you can see she was whining um she was getting very irritated by this time it's like nighttime um so we've been at it all day of course we take we took breaks um but she was she was over at this point. But she's a trooper. That's my baby. And again, all I'm using is mousse for this top section. Um, I didn't want to, you know, put any other products on here. This is a style that was on from a previous style. So I didn't wash her hair. Um, she only had the other style in for about a week, so I just wanted to freshen it up and do something different to the top. So you don't want to like overdo it with the products. Um, but don't worry, I washed her hair thoroughly and gave her a nice deep conditioning after this style. And now we're on our last twist. And we're just going to twist that thing on up and see our end result. Voila, she was over it. <laughs> she did not want that camera in her face anymore. She got a little baby too. But this is just like a side view and a back view. And we're all done.
and that is it thank you guys for watching my youtube please like this video and leave a comment and most importantly please subscribe